Good morning, kiddos. Today we're going to look at a story about a guy named Abram and his wife Sarai. Here's the story. Once there was a man named Abram. One day the Lord came to talk to Abram, and Abram asked, Who will have all my things when I die? God promised Abram and his wife Sarai that one day they would be parents, even though they were both old and had no other children. God wasn't sure that Abraham understood, so that night he took him outside and said, Do you see all the stars that are in the sky? When Abram looked up, the whole night sky was full of stars, so many, in fact, that he would never be able to count them. Then God said, That is how many children you will have. Quite a few years later, when Abram was 99 years old, that's even older than your grandparents, the Lord decided to change Abram's name to Abraham, which means the father of many. He also changed Sarai's name to Sarah. God told them again that they would be parents and that they would have a boy. This time, Abraham laughed so hard he fell on his face. It was hard to believe that he and Sarah would have a child in their old age. One day, three visitors came to Abraham's house, and he hurried out to meet them. May I get you something to eat and drink? Abraham asked. Please come in and join us and have a rest on the couch. The visitors agreed, so Abraham brought them some fresh bread, milk, and meat. While the visitors were eating, they asked Abraham, where is your wife, Sarah? Abraham thought this was a little strange, but he replied, she's in the other room. Then one of the men spoke and said, I will come back to see you at this time next year, and Sarah will have a son. Now Sarah was listening behind the living room door. She started to laugh, but covered her mouth and laughed to herself because she didn't want to be heard. Then she said to herself, how can I have a child? I'm almost 100 years old. Later, when the visitors had left, Abraham and Sarah realized that the man who had told them this was God. A year later, Sarah did have a son. She and Abraham named him Isaac, which means he laughs. They were very excited. That is our story. And remember to Abraham. thank God. Now, Isaac. below this, you'll find some and links that, is our that you can go to that have Abraham. games. Now, below this, you'll find you some links on. that you can go so to have that have with games and, I'll see you and soon. activities that you could work on. So have fun with those, and I'll see you soon.